Hi guys. So here you see in this table, I'm going to show you a summary of the reactions of an alkene. Now in this example, I'll be using 1-methyl cyclopentene to illustrate some of these uh, certain things you have to realize when you react different reagents. So first up, this double bond here undergoes an addition reaction with hydrogen halide. So this could be HBr, HCl, or HI. Notice that on this carbon here of the double bond, there is a methyl group. And when you add this region, it follows the Mark Konnikov rule. Which means you have to look at the mechanism, the stability of the carbocation ion that's being formed. So the H will go in first because it's more electron deficient. It will go to this carbon here. Which means that the halogen will go to the one with the methyl group. So the end product will look like this. The methyl group is here, and then the halogen to the same carbon, X. All right. Just take note for yourself, it follows the Markovnikov rule. So the H will go to the carbon that's less hindered. For the second case, D2, D stands for deuterium. Deuterium is actually 2, 1 hydrogen, and an isotope of hydrogen heavier isotope of this hydrogen. So you can think of this as hydrogenation in the heterogeneous catalyst called platinum. So here we must have what we call a syn addition. Both a deuterium atom will add on from the same side, which means your final product need to illustrate for us that the D come from the same side, you see? Both are hash lines. So it shows us that okay, the deuterium add from the side of this heterogeneous catalyst platinum. Now, in this case, because you see chiral carbon, so it is possible for you to draw for us the other isomer, in which the metal group here now points down, and then the two deuterium will point. So the note here will be, it is a syn addition. Take note. Okay, syn addition. Both incoming atoms coming from the same side. Syn addition. Next up, Br2 and CCl4. Now whenever you see Br2, it means that you must form a three member ring of bromonium ion in this case. So, it must be anti-addition and the two Br must be on the opposite end. So the Br again is big. So we go to the carbon that's not so hindered which is here and form this bromonium ion. So what you have in the end would look something like this. Suppose this Br points up, the other Br must point down. So what about this metal group? Metal group must point up. Because now we are seeing that these two lines are on the same plane. And this carbon is sp3 hybridized, it's tetrahedral. So the last two bonds we have to depict using the wedge bond and the hash lines. And since the BR takes the hash lines, the metal group must be the wedge bond. Remember, anti-addition of the two Br on the opposite side. Next, we have MCPBA, a peroxy acid. Now followed by hydroxide. This is where you get a trans diol. Remember, to make a trans diol, stick to MCPBA and hydroxide. So, take a look. The product will be The alcohol. So again, because it is a trans diol, so OH pointing to you, the other OH must point away from you. That means the metal group must point to you. Okay. 
When they do not throw anything, remember, it ends with a carbon atom. Or you can still put CH3 for me. Both works really fine. In the next case, when you see a OSO4 followed by NaHSO3, water, this must give you a cis thiol. Cis thiol, meaning over here, the two incoming OH must point to the same direction. OH facing you, OH facing you. So the methyl group must go to the back. Next case, you have oxymercuration followed by sodium borohydride. This step is what we call the oxymercuration. It follows the Mark Konikov rule, which means we talk about the stability of the cation being formed. In this case, again, it forms a mercurium ion. H3 triangle looks something like this. H3 positive charge. So once you see a three member ring, it must be a what do you call that? NT addition. Okay? And since it follows the Markonikov rule, what you have here is the final product would have the alcohol on the carbon that's more hindered. So this is what you have, the alcohol, OH, and methyl group on the same carbon. For the last case, you have borane, BH3, followed by hydrogen peroxide and hydroxide. So this comes as one set. Now when you see BH3, remind yourself that this is a syn addition. That means the incoming group come from the same side. Same side. And especially for this, this is anti-Markonikov rule. Which means that in the end, the OH, the alcohol, will be connected to the carbon of the double bond that is less hindered. Okay? And because the H and the OH, the incoming group, must come from the same side. So there are two things you have to pay attention. Number one, Both the incoming group alcohol and the H must point to the same side. And the OH will be connected to the carbon of the double bond that is less hindered. Which means the metal group will be here. You see? So I can put a ME which stands for metal. This is also fine. So remember, all these type of reagents give you specific products here. Take note of the stereochemistry and the visual chemistry, which means the position that the incoming group will add.